Pretty glad the Swan River is uh, dividing the two supporter groups uh, this morning. Michael Genovese uh, is with the Hawks fans at the Inglewood Hotel this morning. Lisa Fernandez yeah. on the other side of the river down with the sirens at the Sail and Anchor. Woo! Lise. <laughs> How are you going down there? How are they preparing okay, the fans there for what's going to be a long day? I'm going to answer all those questions and more. I'm here with the Frio Sirens. Uh, they are the female Frio supporters and they're absolutely fantastic. Head of the Sirens, she hates to call herself that, but I love her, is Di Meekins. Morning, Di. <laughs> Di, for someone like... Oh, and just quickly show us your nails. We're Frio all the way. Di was getting them done at midnight last night. <laughs> Di, for those uh, who are nervous like you and myself, how do you prepare for a game? Get the nails done, you know, it makes me feel better. Faith, yeah. hope, love, that's what we think of Frio. Yes. Um, and uh, of course we've all got our lucky undies and Jan's got her lucky balls. Have you got lucky undies? <laughs> yeah, we've all got lucky undies. Have you all got lucky undies? <laughs> there you go. Now, are you disappointed about Crowley not being included? Oh, uh, I think he might uh, be an... He might be a surprise inclusion yes. tonight, I reckon. Yeah, we'll I'm bring a little on bit... Crowley. I'm a little bit with you. And on a very, very serious note, ladies, because I think the answer is yes, but do, do you think we're going to get over the line today? Yeah. Oh! We've, got, we've got two planes parked on the tarmac at, Frio, at Perth Airport, so we've got to get over the yeah. line. OK. And lastly, I know that Jenna is watching. Jenna is uh, at the Inglewood with the Hawks supporters. And what would you like to say to the Hawks supporters? Have a tissue! <laughs> There you go, Michael Genovese. Uh, Lisa's thrown it down to you. What have you got in response? Stay with us, because I think we're still on camera. Yeah, look, it, it's interesting to finally hear that Dockers song. There are some Hawthorne supporters here who are actually sick of hearing their own song because they're going for three premierships back to back. And it's quite easy to tell why they're actually called the Sirens. They're as loud and as annoying as Sirens okay, as well. It will be very disappointing when those uh, planes will be left empty on the tarmac at the Perth airport. These are the true supporters. These, these are the, the, the diehards, the tragics here. Uh, the W supporter base for the Hawthorne Football Club. You're outnumbered this weekend. Uh, what's it going to take to try and help to get your Mighty Hawks across the line? Um, it's not going to take anything more than we've already got. We kicked Frio's ass last time. We uh, can do it again. And we're already watching that, that game here. It looks like Nat Fife's already kicked out three of his four behinds from that day. Kirsty, your mum is actually a uh, Dockers supporter. What's the banter been like so far this week? She hasn't been able to come up with anything apart from the fact that she wishes she was here just so that she could be wearing her Dockers Guernsey with us. But luckily, we've missed out on that. Fantastic. As I said, they're going for three in a row. There's a little bit of smugness in the room, and I don't mind that, because why not when you're going for three flags in a row? Drew has been a member here of the WA supporters base for quite some time. Drew, talk us through the game back in 2013. Probably not a great day for Dockers fans. I, I can't remember hearing those sirens uh, cheering on that day. No, that's right. Look, uh, for me, the, the biggest, uh, the nervousness for the game was actually, can I come home if we lose? Thankfully, that was never in doubt from the from the first bounce. You see Fife shank a couple of uh, pretty horrible kicks and it was uh, it was pretty safe from there, I think. We're hearing uh, about this call to arms from Frio supporters, a hashtag called a one-minute chant. Uh, are you a little bit nervous about the way the Doc is going to be chanting uh, for exactly one minute in unison before the uh, opening bounce tonight? I'd be amazed if the Dockers can get themselves together for an entire minute. But look, uh, there's, there's going to be plenty of there's going to be plenty of Hawthorne supporters at the ground. We'll be just as loud and proud. A nice little crispy from Drew there to oh, Alex, dear, mate. mate. How long have you been a part of the uh, Hawthorne Supporters Club? Uh, well, over here in Perth, I was one of the uh, the founding members, so we've been going for just over 20 odd years. And uh, the last number of years, uh, the Inglewood Hotel here has been a, a, a fantastic home for us. Um, you now, a fantastic hotel, and the allowing us to watch back-to-back -back, uh, grand finals here live on the big high-definition screen today, uh, just in preparation for the uh, the three-peat uh, vision we'll have uh, in a couple of weeks' time. So, you know, life doesn't get much better than this, I don't reckon. Absolutely. They're pretty, da they're pretty happy down here at Hawthorne. And as I said, they definitely know the words to the song because they've been singing it for three years straight, guys. Take it away and good luck to the Hawks tonight. Thanks. Jenna, mate, I'm a bit worried about you. I think the smugness is catching. It's obviously oh, contagious. Come on, Lisa, drown it out. Come on, Come on, 
Martin Genovese will not be allowed back into the office after this morning, I dare say.